The Olympics are almost here, just about a month away. And even though the medal counts and world records are exciting, the part we love most are the incredible stories on how each athlete got there. And there's a new ad out this morning that is sure to tug at your heartstrings as it celebrates the Olympic athletes and their moms as they make their journey to the games. Here is your first look. Ginger. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was we're just meeting hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the video, you're, you're, you'll see why in a sec. But this video is entitled "Pick Them Back Up." It's part of Procter and Gamble's "Thank You Mom" campaign, which, by the way, is so smart as a, as an athlete and a, a diver. Those early morning practices, it really is all about the moms and dads who get up and dedicate themselves as much as the athlete themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and here to talk about her own Olympic journey is gold medal champion, mom herself, Christy Yamaguchi. <laughs> the stars how yes, are you I'm great thank you great to so, see you again thank you it's nice to be here as we gear up for the Olympics and you look at ads like mm -hmm. that what does that do to you what does it remind you of in your own personal experience well definitely like you said tugs at the heartstrings and you know every Olympian has an amazing support group behind them that's helped them achieve and, and just make it to the Olympics and you know of course the biggest cheerleader is always the mom <laughs> and so it's really nice and exciting to be part of PNG and the secret campaign that is paying tribute to moms and showing that hey look at the athletes getting the glory but there is always someone there to pick them back have up to be. Yep. right you know when things get tough you're always meeting challenges facing obstacles but who's there to help you get through yeah. it, mom. And, and teach you how to pick yourself back up. Right, absolutely. And Christy, I just met you for the first time and I, I was kind of didn't know you were on the show until like 10 minutes ago. I got very excited <laughs> and I think a lot of people know you but they don't know that as a youngster you had clubbed feet. And mm -hmm. that was something your mom helped and, and you mm -hmm. got through. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I was an infant mm -hmm. and, you know, luckily my mom and my dad were there to, you know, help correct the club feed and... Um, Did ice you know, skating help in correction? In I the think correction? so. You know, I mean, the corrections were done by them, but I think it definitely helped with strengthening and coordination and, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, I think it taught me early on to face challenges and, yeah. and move on from them. So now you're a mom. Yes. How old are... Do you have <laughs> one, two? Two girls. And yes. do we have future Olympians? Wow, who knows? We'll see. The, uh, <laughs> you know, Kira and Emma, the younger one, Emma, is skating a little bit. Um, she likes it. It's for fun. You yeah. know, I'm not sure it's her thing. Yeah. Like, it was my passion. Mm -hmm. um, but if she finds whatever hers is, I'll be happy to support it. I totally it. agree with that. I was a di diver in college, and um, I really envisioned both my kids at mm -hmm. least attempting it. Neither one has a bit of interest in it. Isn't they both funny? love other sports, yeah. and that's just fine. Yeah. You know? It's nice for them to choose their own path. Yeah. yeah. As that's we move, uh, as we get to these Olympics, are you, how do you feel about the controversy, the location of them? Are you, are you nervous for the athletes? Not really. I think, you know, security is always a uh, important factor and one of the main things is to keep the athletes safe and uh, and conduct a safe Olympics. So, you know, I think that is obviously going to be the case here and, you know, definitely there's a lot of people there to support and make sure that the athletes, you know, pursue their dreams and have a, a great Olympics. Yeah. So once we're safe and happy at the Games, what are you most excited <laughs> to see? Well, uh, you know, it's bias, of course, in figure skating. There is a new element, um, a new Olympic medal opportunity for figure skating. Uh, there's going to be a team competition. Oh, how cool. Yeah. And it's I, very Dancing with the Stars. It's very Dancing yeah. with the Stars. So one um, competitor from each um, discipline, one man, one lady, one pair team, one dance team will compete as a team for each country. And will they be on we the ice all at the together? same time? Oh, no, no. Not oh, at I, was like, time. <laughs> I was thinking it was like a dance number. That would be a little skate, skate off. Five people. No, no. So they're, uh, you know, they'll perform and then their cumulative score will be added up to see which country you know, has the most points. That's pretty cool. End. Yeah. So, so I would gonna... imagine the athletes will be vi jockeying for those positions mm -hmm. in, an, you know, sort of in their own right, right? I and think so. And, and, you know, this takes place actually before the individual competition. So it's kind of a nice to get your feet on the ice yeah. and to get a feel of the arena and yeah. uh, kind of a warm up before, you know, they, they do their individual competitions. Got to go. But your, any predictions for uh, the U.S. skaters? Who, who are the ones to watch? 
Ooh, um, you know, we have obviously gold medal uh, contenders, Meryl Davis and Charlie White in the ice dancing. They're two-time world champions and going in as, you know, looking very strong. Ashley Wagner and Gracie Gold in the women's division. Uh, we have a third spot that I think is very open. And Still uh, hasn't been chosen. Uh, U.S. Championships, which is the Olympic trials, is this week. Wow. So we'll find oh, out by, by Sunday oh, the so team exciting. will be named. All right. Christy yeah. Yamaguchi, so great to see you. What an inspiration you. you have been to so many athletes. Athletes and non-athletes. Oh, and uh,